When you're looking for a home, at some point in time, it feels like you looked at everything in the world that's out there and it's not quite right. That's the universe telling you it's time to start thinking about a custom home. I bought a friend of mine, Russ Fonte from Pinnacle Homes Inn, to share a little bit about what's that like and how do you go about turning that vision in your brain, turning into a home you can really love. Russ, welcome. Thank you so much, Wally, for having me on. Well, let me first flatter you, uh, the blue blazer. I'm glad that you got the memo and then you just took it to the next level with the pocket patch and the cool socks. Very nice. I'm trying to keep up with you, so absolutely. So uh, we can talk fashion if you want or we can talk about new custom homes, whichever you prefer. Well, let's talk about custom clothes. The question on my mind, it's a, an age old question that men often have for, with their haberdasser. Mm -hmm. Should the shirt match the pocket patch? I, I would say no to, to that. And I know we saw a lot of that in the early uh, 2000s. And so uh, unfortunately, you can do maybe a pattern or a similar color, but probably not both. So we got the little blue pocket uh, patch and then the, uh, the purple uh, checker there. So trying to keep a little variation. There you go. And then brought the color of the socks into the whole thing. Well, I'll, I'll it, have to credit the wife for that one, for the excellent. socks. But it, it speaks to the idea, though, when we're looking for a custom home, or considering a custom home, it's a completely clean palette. There's nothing there, and we've got to start with something foundational, like the blue blazer, and then get that customization in the accessories. Is really, when you get thinking about it, it's the same thing, it's what we're doing. Absolutely, just like a custom suit, you can have a, a custom home tailored exactly to your needs, and that's, uh, that's what we try and help our families with. So a, a, a person, that they are frustrated by what's on the market. They want to go custom. They've picked out a glorious piece of dirt. What's the first step in the process to turn that glorious piece of dirt into a glorious home? Well, that's a great question, Wally. And I'll, I'll share with you from my, our experience, most of the families that we see, you know, the focus is always so much on the home or the floor plan itself. And they're very excited about that as they should be. The, the biggest thing I, I always recommend to the families is before we start focusing on the floor plan though, is uh, really doing our due diligence on the home site. Uh, the reason I say that is because before we even get start getting into the, uh, the home and the pricing and the finishes and the features and everything we just discussed, we really want to make sure that we uh, address any uh, issues with the lot itself uh, because that can have such an effect yeah. on the price, uh, the total price. Uh, and unfortunately, a lot of times either families get too excited or they, they bypass that or a builder doesn't address it. And then inevitably that turns into much higher costs that at some point have to get addressed. So one of the first things that we do with every family or every buyer that we meet with is we do go out and evaluate the home site. And essentially, Essentially, we, very similar to home inspections, yeah. we have a whole checklist of items, of things that will certainly affect what the lot prep costs are gonna be. And these can range anywhere from impact fees, depending on which county sure. the buyer is building on, to whether the, uh, the home site has um, uh, connected uh, utilities or if it needs well or septic, uh, if there's an existing house that needs to be torn down. Wetlands or an eagle's Wetlands, nest. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, and really, what, because until the work is actually done, you're not gonna have an exact number but with, with our uh, with our team what we do is provide an estimate of essentially what we would anticipate those yeah. costs going to be uh, the final things too are going to be like clearing uh, if the home site is heavily wooded and also how much fill dirt so w our goal is to essentially once we meet with that family say hey before the we we'll have the the home itself here but here's everything that we're going to want to expect and especially if families are still negotiating the price of a lot or if they're looking between yeah. two certainly a big factor Factor that they'll want to consider. Something interesting I've seen you do immensely creative. There are a lot of real estate agents who are selling dirt. They, they may have one lot, multiple lots, maybe even a community, but they've got dirt. And it's sometimes difficult for a buyer to envision what that dirt's going to look like on a home. Share with me how you partner with real estate agents selling dirt to help them cast a greater vision, which is a wider net to get the dirt sold. A absolutely, and uh, one of the things that Pinnacle Homes, that what we started doing a couple years ago is reaching out to exactly what you said, uh, listing agents who have vacant lot. Um, what we found is typically when a buyer is looking for a new home, e even when they're open to building, they're not doing a vacant lot search. Uh, right. they're, they're doing a residential search. So a lot of times those lot listings, unfortunately they sit there because they're not getting the mm -hmm. exposure that, that, that that's uh, needed. Uh, so what we do is we reach out 
out to the listing agents and we essentially offer those agents to help uh, create a house lot package where what we'll do is we'll take one of our floor plans that we have, include the price of the lot and essentially offer a, a, a turnkey price. Now this way, this helps out the listing agent because now not only do they have a vacant lot search, but they also have a new residential listing as well. And then on top of that, it helps uh, get our foot in the door. So if a buyer is looking for a builder or just wants to say, hey, you know, roughly what's it going to cost to build a house on this piece of land? They have a much better idea of the price. I so it's really a win-win. something win. interesting in there. So if an agent had a, a lot for sale for 250000 and you, it's now a package, They've just consummated a million dollar sale potentially. That's exactly right. So certainly, yes. That's so, bank. Yeah, that definitely helps out more than to have a house on top of that price uh, in addition. And you know, one of the nice things that we do with that marketing program is we don't charge that listing agent uh, to to market with us uh, it, because again, it, the the goal is to have, number one help get the lot sold for the agent and sure. for the seller. But then at the same time, it helps us because sure, it helps sure. get our foot in the door with marketing a home for a lot that we don't. Don't necessarily own at that point, yeah. uh, but you're right at that. If a lowers buyer does the holding cost, what's that? Lowers the holding. Yeah, it definitely yeah, lowers the holding thing. cost there. Well, Russ, what's the best way uh, for an agent with with lots? or an individual family, what's the best way to get a hold of well, it? The, the best place to start is on our website, which is pinnacle-homes.net. Uh, that is our website that we have that has all of our contact information. I am the builder representative, so any questions that you have in terms of pricing, where to build, um, you know, what's available, what's the building process, because certainly we could go into more detail. Sure. That's the best place to start, pinnacle-homes.net. Thanks. I want to thank Russ for being with us. Very appreciative of how he's taken the classic blue blazer and taken it to the next level.